August 25, 1960, the opening day ceremonies of the Rome Olympic Games. More than 5,000 athletes from 85 nations pass in review. Marching with the team from Belgium, 30-year-old Roger Munz. Munz is the world record holder. He has held the record for five years. This would undoubtedly be my last chance to win a gold medal. I would have been the favorite to win the gold medal four years earlier in Melbourne, but a few months before the Games, I was training on a dark rainy day in Athens. My glasses fogged up and I ran into a post supporting a tennis net and tore a muscle in my leg. Tom Courtney won the gold medal for the United States. Now, five years later in Rome, I was still the holder of the world record and the favorite to win. Friday, September 2nd, the final of the 800 meters. There are six finalists. George Kerr, representing the West Indies, has won his three qualifying heats. He is expected to give Roger Munz his strongest opposition. After winning his first two heats, Roger Munz is defeated by Peter Snell of New Zealand in the semi-final. I considered myself rather fortunate to be in the team because my time had, was something like 25th in the world that year in 800 meters. I was expected to perhaps make the final in the 800, but uh, nothing more than that. Peter Snell's victory in the semi-final did not upset me. I thought it was a fluke, and I did not consider Snell a threat in the final. The man I feared was George Kerr of the West Indies. With 500 meters to go, Christian Begley of Switzerland leads. Paul Schmidt, Germany second, Kerr third, Snell fourth, Munz fifth. The bell for the last lap. Begley leads, followed by Schmidt. Kerr is third, Snell fourth, Munz fifth, and Manfred Matuszewski, Germany, last. On the back stretch for the last time, Bagley leads. Snell in the all-black uniform is fourth. Roger Munz alongside Snell makes his move. Quickly, he goes into second place. Schmidt, Kerr, and Snell are right behind. I said, I can't make this move now. I will just stay on the inside. There was a number of other runners that were all starting to spread out across the track and I stayed this way right around the final curve. A gap opened and then suddenly I saw Roger Mowens out on the right hand side of the track and I thought, gee, I can perhaps win this. Peter Snell first, Roger Moon second, George Kerr third. Snell breaks Tom Courtney's Olympic record by one and four tenths seconds, but is still six tenths of a second off the world record. Roger Moon still holds the world record, but here in Rome, his chances for an Olympic gold medal are over. I took the lead from Vegli on the final turn. As I passed him, I closed my eyes and said to myself, I am the Olympic champion. I gave everything I had down the stretch. I looked to my right and did not see George Kerr, whom I feared. I closed my eyes again and said to myself, Roger, this time it is certain you are the Olympic champion. The black uniform flashed by me. It was Peter Snell. Later, the victory platform ceremony takes place. Peter Snell stands on the top step flanked by Roger Munz and George Kerr. For the first time in 24 years, a runner from New Zealand has won an Olympic gold medal.